ladies and gentlemen, if you just remove your phones and you type on Google, um, Bitcoin founder. The name that comes out is Satoshi Nakamoto. Right under it are the words, Australian entrepreneur Craig Wright uh, has claimed he is Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of the virtual currency Bitcoin. Mr. Wright, who lives in London, showed the BBC his evidence that he launched the currency back in 2009. So all this has been alleged, but the man that says he is the founder of Bitcoin is here. So Craig, kindly join us on stage. So, no thanks for that, but um, anyway. I'm going to do the bit no one likes. I don't like really caring whether you like me. Now, I'm going to tell you the hard bits. Now, in 2009, the GDP of this country was 5.4 billion US dollars. Now it's 8.4 billion US dollars. That's less than doubling in 10 years. That's bad. Now, I don't care whether you say that's good or whatever else. Um, if you want to go into all this other BS, I'm not going to be like everyone over there who wants to sell you a solution. I don't really care because I'm here for the long term. I'm going to be here in 20, 30 years, and eventually I don't really care what you say. I'm going to be having the solutions you're using. Now, the fact of the matter on this is you can open up and allow free trade. You can open up and allow your country to be more, or you can wait and hand money to a whole lot of people. And I'll say this quite frankly because I've got more money than your country. So I'm not going to ask for anything. I don't want your investment. I don't want, like Stellar and everything else, to be handed money. I don't really care. I'm just going to develop solutions and they're going to go out there and they're going to be created and they're going to be used because we can basically make them that way. Now, one thing that annoys me is how oh, I've got to be happy and tell everyone what they want. No. I'm going to do things so that people can trade whether you like it or not. I don't want an African currency. I want the world. I don't really care about an African, pan-African group. I want this group of a billion and a bit people to go out there and trade with Americans, with the Europeans, with Australians, with Japanese. That's what matters. Not because you sell bits of cobalt to the Chinese and Americans and get it back again. Not because you don't manufacture here. Not because people like Tesla tell you you shouldn't invest in coal power plants because, well, that would enable you to actually smelt your own steel, smelt your own aluminium, smelt your own cobalt and sell it at higher rates, basically capturing profit that no one wants. I'm going to do it because you can actually capture things here, when your own markets enable global commerce, when your people can sell anywhere. And there are about 12 million people here. 12 million people's half of Australia. And yet you have resources that are needed. Rare earth metals are called rare earth metals because they are rare. And they're in extreme supply. And yet the value you get out of them is minimal. So I don't really care whether the people here like to hear this or not, but the fact of the matter is, if you want this country, if you want this region to really take off, then you need to allow people to start trading freely, openly, not because you control the money, not because you do some sort of silly little boondoggle project, and I'm not gonna go through all the things there, but because you enable everyone to trade. When I've been walking around this country, I had pounds, US dollars, and Rwandan francs. And people wanted US dollars. So you can say all you want about an African currency. If people in markets and other places want to take US dollars, they will. And if you can create a global currency, they will take it. You cannot stop them. That simple. Your people will do this eventually because they will become richer. You can either help them or you can stand in their way. And if you stand in the way, you're helping poverty. So basically, this is very simple. 
enable your country to be all it can, not doubling every 10 years or less. This country should be growing far more. That's what I want to see. I don't want investment from you. I don't want anything like that. What we're here is basically to create technology that we're licensing, which, yes, helps me, but not because of the way you're looking at it, because I want to see everyone trade. That's it. Thank you.